your cadence and bringing hip hop and rap to the UK at such an early age. You know, thank you for that. Thank it means you. a lot. She was doing this when she was about five years old, six years old. I go into my uncle's barber shop. You know, there'll be a couple of people sitting on the chairs, and I'll be able to rap to them. They call me buddy, buddy, thank you, buddy. When you come to the barber shop, it's just a good energy, positive vibes, and you just got little Shan just always doing her thing. Some people are told, you know, what do you want to be when you're older? But I don't think it has to start when you're old. You have one life and you have to live it to the fullest. She's very unique. I hope the coaches see what I see every day. Because that song just brought back my childhood. <laughs> when that song came out, I was 13 years old. And uh, I just saw myself back in my neighborhood on my bike playing the song. <laughs> the fact that you're like 10 years old, that's really awesome. You have so much star quality and charisma. You smashed out the part in that audition. So now it's time for you to pick your coach. This is it, the battles. You guys excited? Yeah. My next team, it's Ava and Alfie. Peyton. And Lil Shan Shan. How can you pick a winner? And they just seem so excited, they're proud. Yeah, they're just too adorable. I'm most worried about messing up one of the beats, but I'm just gonna be myself, make sure I'm having fun, and make the crowd go wow.
joy to watch each of you shine in your own individual way. Even though you were together so much on stage and you were like a little group, you all were so individual. Well, Shan Shan, your performance and your cadence and bringing hip hop and rap to the UK at such an early age, you know, thank you for that. Thank it means a lot. The one that's gonna go through is Lil Shan Shan. Congratulations! Thank you! How are you feeling? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> this is tears of joy. Congratulations. Hi, thank you. At first, I was like, what about Ladies First by Queen Latifah and Moni Love? Flip the scene into reverse with a little touch of Ladies First. When did you start rapping? At the age of five years old. Five? Yeah. You write your own rap scene? Of course. Do you have any lyrics to go? Yeah, yeah. Can I hear one of them? Yeah, sure. Um, oh, let me play a beat, let me play a beat, let me play a beat. Don't wanna share cause you're too stingy. It was wanna cry cause you're too windy. When she sung her rap, I'm like, whoa, wait a second. It's really good. Name's Oshan Shan, yeah, I'm a diva. What do you mean, like Justin Bieber? Yeah. <laughs> this is so crazy. Wouldn't you like to see your own raps? I would love to. Yay, Shan Shan's doing her own raps. As Shan Shan's coach, I think she's earned the right to perform her own stuff. I keep pinching myself because this doesn't feel real. It feels like a dream. For the voice kids, I'm happy that little Shan Shan is breaking the mold. You know my name. You know my name. Little Shan Shan on the team. Well, I am. Whoa, you say that I'm pretty and pricey. My lyrics are cold and I'm icy. I'm proud to be living, no interest in sinning. I thought I'd thank God for you, mighty. They say that I'm pretty and pricey. My lyrics are cold and I'm icy. I'm proud to be living, no interest This is like insane. Thank Lil Shan Shan, I am a Lil Fan Fan. I'm still like hyped <laughs> off. I'm like, let's go again! <laughs> um, I am blown away. Rap, grime, MCing, it's such an important part of music's history. And I'm so happy that you are representing that. Thank you. You're better than a lot of adults. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just 
just came in and surprised us all. Oh. I wasn't expecting it, and I don't think anyone else was. Got little Shan Shan in the barbershop. Got Will I Am. Watching little Shan and her crew reminded me of the joy of being around your friends and music for the right reasons. It's music because you love it. They be getting lined up in the barbershop. We'll be on the mic getting rhymes up in the barbershop. <laughs> I've been in the studio all day preparing for a session with this super artist later. It's like Beyonce level. Who is it? <laughs> Lil Shan <laughs> This is a studio that me and the Black Eyed Peas have been recording at since 2001. Now we have a chance to record your song. Here's your headphones, okay? All right, let's do this. I don't run out of battery. Supply the road like a factory. Sweet tooth full of candy, said sweet tooth full of candy. You been in the studio a bunch? Because you sound like a pro. <laughs> One take. Will is the best coach. He gets me, I get him. I feel like we're best friends. That's really dope. Do you mind if I do that fast bit again? Working with Lil Shan Shan today, I just realized I made the best decision ever. She's 11 years old, and she kind of brought the best out of my beat making. We should do a video, too. Oh, yes, please. A boom video. I take you to the candy shop. Oh, so we're going to have you back here, and you're just going to do your way. Jesus, so excited. I'm so excited. And action. I have to pinch myself. Like, is little Shan really doing all of this? Got the music video. Now I just have to give the best performance of the night. <laughs> like that. It was so confident. Your delivery and your timing is incredible. You know, I'm so proud of Shan Shan because, first off, being a young female rapper and having the confidence and the courage to come in on a singing competition when there's not that many songs for a young girl to sing. Keep that in mind. What rap songs is an 11-year-old girl going to sing that's suitable? So she comes on a show and, mo and with a handicap, because there's not that many songs to pick from, and then having to write all her own music to make up for the fact that there's not that much music that's suitable for 11-year-olds to not only listen to, but perform. So I salute you, Shan Shan, for going all the way to the top. Right all the way to the top. I put you through to the final because you're that awesome. Seriously. Super Shan Shan is the jam jam. She first came on the show and performed one of my favorites, Supersonic. When you did the blind auditions, you were only 10. That's cray cray. Thank you. Supersonic. When I hear her rapping, I don't think of an 11 year old girl who just fresh out of 10. More importantly, she wrote those rhymes. I have never been happier to have a finalist in the kid voice or the adult voice. This is the happiest I've ever been. Here's the pioneers.
blast your stereo rock. No shan shan, break it down, down like this. You can't hate on me, because I am a slice of beef. I want to make it get a degree, press it there, give it something to see. Brrr. You ain't got nothing on me, and my bars come toxic gasoline. I am the best, yes, best contest indeed. I am the best contest indeed. Hey. Be silent, you know you agree. Hey. Come on, come again like Creed, and I will never accept defeat. I will not finish till I know it's complete. S-H-A-N, yeah, that's sham. Don't tell me I can't, I can. When I'm not here with Will, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so this is it, the moment we have all been waiting for. It's time to find out who you have chosen as the winner of The Voice Kids 2019. I can now announce that the winner of The Voice Kids 2019 is... Sam! Shit, shit.